All right, Haymakers, uh, we're getting ready for our Flagstaff tournament, but what I wanted to talk about and so you can look over the video on is breakout in our breakout options and go over the drill draw part of breakout. I'm going to try to have the PDFs for you on the breakout, and it goes through each individual responsibility on the breakout that every position should be doing. Um, so I'm going to have this kind of ready to go for you so you can look through, and it also has a little drawing and it's it's the same stuff we did with the football on the field and we can go over it a bit more but uh, the one thing that I think I goofed up is I gave you the wrong color so green is a strong side board breakout white is a middle breakout those were all correct behind the net skating okay that's a yellow breakout I think I goofed that up yellows behind the net skating Blue is a pass behind the net. Blue is a D to D pass. Okay, so we're gonna have to get that correct in our minds. Uh, I'm gonna go through each individual one here and show you on the drill draw really quick how it works out. Um, enjoy. All right, so we have our basic defensive setup here, um, and we, we have our right defense in the corner battling for the puck. The center is going to be off the right defense, making sure to stay on the defensive side, protecting the seam, protecting for a pass into the center, and for protecting in case this guy beats the right defense so he can get back. Okay? Now we're going to say the right defense <coughs> gets the puck turned over in the corner here to them. And remember, the first thing that you're going to look to do is you're going to look to skate behind the net. All right. Now, a lot of times you're going to have pressure on you. Almost all the time, you're going to have pressure from the other team coming on you. So, on the green side breakout, we're going to say that this pressure is coming in and kind of pinching you off here. So, when you go to turn to go behind the net, they come to pinch you off. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a quick escape. All right. Now on this breakout here, this left winger is going to be without the puck, but you're going to be watching what's happening here, right? And you want to make probably a little motion to protect the center and then start moving to the boards. All right. Ideally, you want to be facing the play, but you can get the pass up the boards on your backhand or anything, but you kind of want to be facing the play. But you're going to make a motion to the boards over here. And then the defense, it's a simple matter of passing it up to you, and that's the first pass. The center, when he sees that defense, he's first going to be guarding against this guy picking the puck. Then when he sees the defense make that escape and pass to this guy, once that pass is, is going, the center is now going to break up here. The second pass now can be from the winger to the center, a nice short pass. The right wing again is going to make sure he stays in the slot to protect the house. But a lot of times you're going to start to back out because you're going to see this guy breaking over here, so you're going to back, break out backwards. So let's actually change that to backwards. A little backwards skating here for a second, because you need to try to get to the boards if this continues around. But we, he, turn, he breaks back, and you see the pass happen, pass to the center. So now you can start to break up the ice here. And the third pass can be right there from the center, directly up to the right wing breakaway man. But the basic motion would be right defense with the puck making an escape, passing the puck up to the winger, the center moving up, the winger making the pass over to the center, the right wing skating around and moving up, 
center head manning. Whoa, geez. Center head manning that puck to the right wing. Now, once you make that pass, we want to see the center skating up the ice. And we want to see our right wing, our, our left wing here. We want to see our left wing skating up the ice. Okay, following that play up. And now we can enter into our attack triangle or we can get back into our lanes. You know, if we get back into our lanes, center's coming up here, right wing's going long, left wing's going up the ice. Green is a strong side wing pass. Let's look at it from the other side briefly. Left defense gets the puck. Gets pressured on his shoulder and makes an escape. Right wing will be watching the play, moving around and up to the boards. There's a pass up the boards. Center stands his ground to make sure the pass is made and then starts to move up the boards in a support pattern. Supporting the play and supporting the puck up. Right wing is usually pressured. Going to make a pass out to the center. Left defense would start a motion. First hold his ground. Then start a little bit of motion backing up a little bit. And when he sees the plays going, gun it out for the pass from the center. Just like we practice. Green, strong side, wing pass. Let's try another one. Left defense gets the puck. Starts to make a motion behind the net. Right wing is covered. Backside pressure. So we call for white. Center is going to turn. Start to make this motion up the ice. Pass to the center. The left wing, seeing that the center's got it, is going to head up ice. The center can now make a pass up to the left wing or can look to do, since the right wing's back here, can look to pass it up to the right wing if the right wing has a lane. So white is the strong side center pass. Yellow green, this is where we're skating behind the net and doing a strong side wing pass. Defense gets the puck. Starts to skate behind the net. Usually is having backside pressure. So they keep skating through. Right defense. Or let's talk about the center. The center is going to follow this play through. Watching what he's doing. Right defense is going to switch over to make sure that nobody, because these guys are going to try to come in front of the net here, switch over and make sure we're guarding the, the front of the net and the weak side post. Left wing is going to be skating up and to the boards to receive that pass. Right wing is going to make sure that he's covering the front of the net right here getting ready to go. When the pass takes place, the 
the center will move up. Call for the pass up the middle lane. The left wing, seeing that the pass has taken place. Now we have control. Well, he's not going to pass himself out. We'll start skating out of the zone. For a pass we made up to them. Behind the net with the puck. Pass to the wing. The wing follows behind the net and comes down to get the pass. The center skates over to make sure the pass is done and then starts skating up the ice. The right D watches and makes sure that the front of the net is covered. The right wing is going to initially collapse down to make sure everything is covered here. And then when he sees the plays going, is going to skate out. Pass goes to the center. Center makes a pass up to the right wing. And then just like before, you pass and move. Pass and move. Defense needs to make sure they're staying back in the last creep out of the zone. Yellow green skate behind the net, strong side wing pass. Yellow white. Defense skates behind the net with backside pressure. Right defense drops back. Other center is going to follow this through. Okay. Left wing is going to come around to the boards. And let's say the left wing is covered. Center can now make a break up ice. Quick short pass to the center. We're now the center. Skate for a couple steps. If he's open, keep going. Or, better, right wing starts to cut up. Quick pass to the right wing. Yellow, white. Blue, green. Skate behind net to the strong side wing. Left defense is caught down here, maybe starts to make a motion, but realizes he's completely pressured by two people. Right defense seeing this can drop back, call for the pass. D to D behind the net pass. This D then turns with it, or if he knows that he's open, he makes a quick pass. Especially if, if the left wing says, open, open, open. Left wing come down to pick up the puck. There's the pass. Center follows the pass over and play in case there's a turnover right here. Then continues up ice quickly. He's open, short pass, or even an area pass there for the for the center to chase. Right wing, it's gonna make sure everything's covered. And then turn and skate up ice, pass on the blue line to push the defense back so that the center can either skate or the center can make a pass up. <laughs> blue, green. Skate behind the net, blue, green, strong side winger. You can see the same thing for blue, white. All right, there it is, breakouts. Color-coded, simple breakouts. For this to work, people need to be in the proper defensive positioning. You can't be doing anybody else's job. You must be doing your job. You must read the play and anticipate, okay? You can't move too early and you can't move too late. 
All right, there's going to be mistakes, there's going to be problems with this, but this is the basic motion to get the puck out of our end of the ice and start moving it into the neutral zone and into the attack zone. Memorize these different plays. I will be calling them from the bench. One of the coaches will. You can also call these from the ice. If you see it going on, somebody can call it from the ice. A lot of times you don't even need to call it. If you can read what's going to happen, get to your position, and it'll just formulate. But now you have at least a name for those different plays, the different ways to break out. These are a couple of a thousand different ways to break the net and puck out of the ice. These are very traditional, but they work. And you have choices everywhere you go. And we're going to practice these tonight, and hopefully we'll see them work well in Flagstaff and continue to work on these and, and perfect them.